Welcome to our read aloud. Yesterday we enjoyed first piece to the table about Thomas Jefferson and gardening and springtime and how beans grow, peas and beans grow. And I know with Senora Santiago, you are keeping a little bean and watching it grow and recording all about it. So I thought today we'd enjoy a beans life cycle. And look at those arrows showing like a cycle. Remember, a cycle is something that goes over and over again. And that, I'm making a connection to the symbol for recycle, aren't you? Okay, so there's some peas in a pod, beans in a pod, a beans life cycle. And there's even a blurb. How does a tiny bean seed become a leafy plant? See a bean plant sprout and grow right before your eyes. Here we go. A Beans Life Cycle by Mary R. Dunn. Oh, that's a real zooming in close up there, isn't it? Okay, table of contents. Planting seeds, sprouting seeds, flowering plants, hanging pods, glossary, read more internet sites, critical thinking, and index. Oh, and I noticed for the illustration, they're using kind of the silhouette, right, of the bean pods hanging there and more arrows to show a cycle. Wow, look at these big, beautiful, close-up pictures. This part is planting seeds. It is spring. Broad bean seeds are planted in soil. With water and warm temperatures, the bean seeds begin to change. Wow, and there, yours are gonna look like this maybe too in the little in the little plastic bag if you take good care with them. There's a little brota, the sprout, and there's some roots, raices, right, going down into the soil. Tiny white roots break out of the seed and reach down into the soil. Roots bring nutrients from the soil to the seed. The roots hold the plant in place. So there's kind of like step one, little tiny thing coming out, and step two, look, it's gotten bigger and bigger and grown actual roots. Sprouting seeds. Soon a bean shoot sprouts. It pops through the soil and becomes the stem. Tiny leaves on the stem start to grow. The leaves begin to open. And again, I love these photographs. Look at this. So step one, it's getting a little bit bigger and kind of pushing out of the soil. Number two, it's getting straighter and taller and growing some little tiny leaves. There it's getting taller and taller and there it's even growing more and more. Roots take in water from the soil. The stems carry water to the leaves. Leaves use water, air, and sunlight to make food for the plant. Okay, so this is talking about roots, raices, Stems, tallos, and leaves. Ojas, you know those words in Spanish, right? Flowering plants. Flower buds appear at the bottom of the leaves. These black and white flowers have pollen. They also have a sweet juice called nectar. Ooh, I think we're going to learn about pollinating. I love the idea of pollinating and pollinators. So those are the little flowers that grow. Buzz! A bee lands on a flower to sip nectar. The bee has pollen on it from a different flower. The pollen will make beans grow. So the little yellow powder from one flower gets on another flower. And that's how the flower gets the message to start growing a bean, not just being a flower. Hanging pods. Bean pods grow and the flowers begin to die. The pods are lumpy and thick. They protect the seeds inside. And there are some big hanging bean pods. Bean plants have about 12 bean pods. Each pod will have three to eight seeds. So there's a close up of the inside. One, two, three, four. There's five beans in there. Some pods are picked to eat. Other pods dry out and pop open. Their seeds fall out. These seeds may become new plants in the spring. So if you don't eat them or take them off the plant, these could just fall to the ground and grow a new one. 
Okay, and there's the glossary. We know these words. Read more and internet sites. So we got to do something. And the thing I want to do is just go back to these pages about the flowers and about pollinators, right? And it's this time of year now, more and more we're seeing different bees and insects going from flower to flower. They're attracted to the sweet juice, the nectar, right? But when they go from plant to plant, they spread pollen. That's why they're called pollinators. And it's the pollen from one plant connecting with the pollen from another plant that makes, kind of like the baby, that makes the beans or the other fruits and vegetables we eat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a beans life cycle. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.